What are we doing today, guys? We're going to the llama farm. We're going to the llama farm. <laughs> On today's farm. adventure, we are going to a llama farm. Yeah. And uh, I don't think we've ever seen llamas up close in person. We've only seen so. them in Minecraft. At all. Yeah. Only seen them in Minecraft. So we're going to go check out a llama farm. Supposedly there's like 70 llamas here. And where I we're can't going. Wait. I wonder if llamas are soft or rough. I think they're rough. Well, we're going to find out. Find this out is soon. super bumpy. Stabilize it. There we go. Stabilize. So yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. Come what? join us on an adventure. I can't wait. Llama oh. fun! Llama fun! Llama, Llama, Llama drama! Llama, 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 Here we go! Drama. Tina. <laughs> and look at why he's right there. Look at his left eye. He's got one blue eye, one brown eye. Oh, no kidding. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just uh, <laughs> our dog has it. It's the only one on the farm that's really got it like that. That's awesome. This one right here? Yeah. If you kind of, of course, he won't turn his head towards you. Oh, yeah. Well, that's yeah. what they call a watch eye. It feels like it's always looking at you. Mm. But there's nothing wrong with that. And uh, it's not. He's like, no, I'm done. <laughs> I had a horse years ago that had it. We've had dogs over the years. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Mm -hmm. We've been around llamas in Minecraft. What's that? We've been around llamas in Minecraft. Wow. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard of that stuff. Me too. What we're going to do usually we brush He's them. like, what's going on here? But what we'll do, we'll go walk first in case it does rain hard. So most of the stuff's inside. So have you ever walked a big animal before? <laughs> no. Okay, so what we like to teach uh, people over the years, anytime you help somebody with your neighbor's dog or any kind of a big animal, don't do this. A lot of people like to wrap their hand oh. and you got the security, but what happens is if the dog, I use dogs a lot because most people are, if the dog takes off into a squirrel, your hand can't get out. So you get trapped. So what they teach like the big horse people in Saratoga, all you do is loop it, just make a loop and you walk. If the animal gets away from you, or is chasing you towards a rope, let go. Go get the animal later. That's where a lot of the big injuries come with big, big animals like horses and stuff. So who wants to go first? <laughs> It'll be bashful. Come on, right. so left okay. hand here, and then your right hand up here, I'm gonna help you get up. He only goes where this rope goes. You don't go, he won't go, believe me. He's eating. So we're gonna walk down the driveway. So Come on, Mike. <laughs> oh, I love his name is Mike. That's awesome. Let's go. Mike. <laughs> Just in case it should pour, you know, yeah. that way we're inside. Yeah, it's not bad right now. No. It's a little drizzle. <laughs> what do you know about llamas? They uh, spit. They do spit, don't they? They spit. I'll explain why they do that. <laughs> we go inside and brush in our jabbers, but don't let them walk you through a tunnel. They'll go around. I mean, <laughs> You can go around. They go. They won't go through a puddle. <laughs> I don't want to tell you guys. Oh, well, you, maybe don't hit a you haven't got to worry about that today. <laughs> <laughs> spit at you. Spit on. So walk right over here. He'll point you to the grass. And you're driving him now. <laughs> there you go. We step on here. You can't blacktop this driveway because it'll burn your feet in summertime. Wow. Oh, yeah, you kind of see their pads as like little Adidas sneakers. So oh, yeah. concrete or blacktop and concrete would do an awful job on it. We're going to go right down here. It's a baby llama. Well, we'll right in with them after. <laughs> They're all so curious. I know. <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> What's going on over there? What's doing? Have you been around big dogs at some point in your life? A big clunky dog? Yeah. Have you been around a cat in your life? We have dogs and cats. Yep. <laughs> there you go. You, then you've got a llama and you don't even know it. <laughs> they don't care where their rear end is. When they go like they turn, they don't care. They're like lap dogs. They think they're, they're just big. We have a big dog who thinks he's a lap dog. There you go. But the, their personality is a loop like a cat. A cat will sit on your lap and be your best friend. Until they're not. Until they're not. Until they look at you like, why are you wasting my air? Why are you, in fact, why are you even near me? That's what these guys, that's why that hay 
Well, we brush him. We gotta buy him off. <laughs> These llamas got a price. Is that older llama? Uh, 25 is average. They go to about 25, but we have a, we'll turn here. Just turn to your left a little bit in case somebody should come in. They shouldn't, but. Now, if the grass comes up real high, yep. So you're driving them. He's pulling you to the grass. You, you drive. Bear them right around. You won't hurt them. <laughs> He's, walking. Right He's walking you, bud. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> we'll do a couple turns a piece. We don't, you know, it's not like 10 steps. That's enough. You'll make it. He just wants to pull you back to bar and eat. He's like, I know there's hay over there. <laughs> they have all the hay all day long. <laughs> the llama could do 8 to 10 miles a day. This, to 200 yards we're going to walk. Is, is like, I don't want to do it. Too much work. That's how I am on Sundays. And he's a good listener. Tell him about your day. That's, that's right. That's right. That's a, that's a, that's oh, yeah. He's right. Got, sticking right out. Oh, no. Mostly. Mostly he's that tall out here. Yep. And with the, of course, he's wet, so. <laughs> so we got the first llama, uh, Dakota, and the ridges on our property. And then we got two, then she got three. I don't know what happened after that. That was a long time ago. I forgot. I blacked out. But um, this is Mike. His register's name is about that long. You're going to hear me shorten all their names down to this. Whatever that thing, you, Minecraft, all that kind of stuff, they got names. I, you guys are too young. I don't know. You got a vocabulary I don't understand. I do. I, like, the movies they watch, I'm like, nope. what are you talking about? What? Link, where did they get this? I, I grew up with the Stooges. That's, that's my wife says, just call them Mike and Joey. And it's, because it's in their name somewhere. We, like, so llamas are native to South America, upward cool. Not hot and not super cold. So they're. Um, I'll explain a little about fucking shearing, but they're they're designed. All we have here are llamas. They're part of the camelid family. Camels, llamas, alpacas. They're all cousins. How do you know? Split toe or split lip. That's how you look right at it. You know what llamas are really uh, the distinct thing on them about? What looks like their ears. They have big banana ears. They kind of look like little horns. Yeah, yeah. And alpacas have a little tiny point of view. Oh, he's right now. They're hanging off the ceiling fan watching us. Ours is a half border collie. We have a half, half border collie. collie. Here. And he's some real quiet dog. He's a spaz. Oh, you can't walk him. He goes all over the place. Well, they're, they're actually they're in <laughs> the air he, about a quarter inch if you ever look. Only after <laughs> he takes one step, he's out of breath. We have a face harness for him yeah. like this because it's the only way I can walk him. So see this right here? This they, when they come out the house, this is their track. Oh. oh, they think they're herding llamas. Yep. <laughs> I put stuff there. I give. I don't. I, I just give up. You just. I, I need to put a bank a, asphalt curb for him. I grew up with a shelfie. Oh boy. And he did a path. Yeah, a trail. Like they, they cut around it around our dining table. <laughs> oh, in the in the house. In the house. Yeah, <laughs> energy's got to go somewhere. Yep. Hey, bud. Usually our dog Mason always pulls us. I'll hold your umbrella. Okay, I'll hold your umbrella. Really really look don't at these guys over umbrella. here. They're just like, <laughs> they're like, like what, what is going on? It's a dog pants, but they're long and old. Are you walking me, bud, or am I walking you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want my food. Like, oh, Pretty much. I love these color patterns. Yeah, he's an Appaloosa. Yeah. Now I'll explain a little bit about the breeding when we go over in the other barn. The reason I don't jump too much because if I get to one section, I, I don't want to forget something. Yeah. Mike. Them, they're programmable people. It's like, okay. We saw it on the Facebook page. Oh, That's awesome. <laughs> that, the first time we heard that, I came out of the house and I said, I thought Godzilla was coming through the woods. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Want to go back? That's an alert. I'll go back? You're much better than my dog walking. Yeah. My dog. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's not a spaz at all. It's good. No, I want to try. you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. So I know you've been taught not to litter, but guess what? What? You can litter here. See this fiber? Uh -huh. Fiber, wool, or hair. It's the same term. Just depends like on where you're from. Mason. You take this and we throw it on the ground. And all the birds take and make nests out of it. Oh. So I take a lot of it and dump it up in the woods and so stuff. So basically, we should just take all of Mason's So even the birds nest up here, you look and you'll see our fiber oh, yeah. 
their fiber, not our fiber. They make it, not me. This is like brushing Nathan. Just chunks of fur just coming off of him. So yeah. they don't shed. You've got to shear them up. Uh, and we're getting close to that season now. And it's all different, different colors. Does it hurt? Does it hurt? When you brush the lawnmower? No. They can't even, they have very hard skin. But you brush these guys, you gotta get, we brush these how hard I'm doing that. You gotta get right in there. Oh, so now, now wonder if he's, he's No, it not doesn't like, hurt him. It's it, not it like won't hurt making him. a noise when like, I'm just like pulling on the No. Yeah, because like it's so hard to like just so pull down. you have a dog and cat and that's a, that's a good head start. Two cats you know and when, one dog. You, you know when they're two. upset or something or you know when you can play with them and not. Yeah, because they and, freak out. Right. Well, same thing. These don't really flip out. They'll just get away from you. All right. You, it's all you don't, and you don't grab a cat from behind or a dog. Any animal you should never just grab from behind. They want to know you're there. Mm -hmm. So, the first thing they want to do in a bad situation is run away. That's it. They want out of the situation. That's when they run. That's where the flight comes in. Second of all, llamas can kick. Yeah. It's not like a horse. If you get kicked, uh, you won't. But if you did, it's a little whack. But again, our llamas, we've been doing this for so long that these guys are used to getting pulled on and stuff. But if you go to another area and you see other animals, you always want to make sure they can see you before you approach them. Mm -hmm. Sally's one thing. What's the big thing llamas are known for? Spitting. 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 Why do they spit? If they feel the llama spit. No, they don't like pink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finding you. I'm finding you. No. I'm being serious now. It's the first color. It would have been. T I couldn't figure green tea. I couldn't throw it out. And that's got too many combinations. So, right now, llamas can't bite you. There's no top teeth. Look at his teeth. He's old. I'll explain him in a minute. There's no top teeth. So, in front of his eyes, in his jaw, that's where his molars are. So, he's grinding this hay up right now. They're ruminants. That's the term they use. They regurg. So, he's chewing that up. He's got three stomachs down here. It goes into his first stomach, sits there a little while. All right, you ready to get grossed out? He burps it back up and eats it again. <laughs> I find it, I find it, I wish I could do it. I, I'm not a ruminant. I, that pizza would be coming that back all week long as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it's the oh, most that's a little, That wasn't meal. so bad. That's a little meal. <laughs> yeah. meal. So what it is, that's what they do. And that's how they digest it the second time around. And then it goes into the chambers and breaks down. Now, when they get mad, and I mean, there's nothing here that nobody's gonna do. What makes them mad? Number one, the heat sets them right off. These guys don't like summertime. <laughs> and that's why we shear them, and I'll show you that and everything. So when they get mad, if we were to be really mean to him, the last thing they wanna do is spit. So what they do is they spit that wet grass back up, and I've been hit right in the face with it, not from Ouch. animals here, I've rescued animals here. It's like wet grass, it's not throw up like you're thinking. It's wet grass, but it's not very nice. When you see it on the videos and you see these things, what you never see is after they spit. After they spit, they'll cough and hack for a half hour. They're coughing. They don't want to spit. Unfortunately, we've all had upset stomachs. Yeah. We've had an upset stomach. We get we get the luxury of maybe some dry toast or some I ginger think ale. Good. They don't get anything but time. So you know, it's very good. So they don't really want to spit. But when the most people get spit at, and they, when they say, I've been around, and they, I've been spit at, where were you? A carnival or a fair? Mm. When do they have them? Summertime. Mm. Uh. The hottest time of the year. They're in a 10 by 10 pen all day long. Eh, eh, eh. They got nowhere to go. They're exhausted. And when you see a flight animal, its bottom eyelid is drooping a lot. That's stress. That animal's going to do whatever that animal's going to do. Whether a horse or cow. They're stressed out. So whether they kick, spit, jump, or run, it's, it's, you never know what's going to happen. So that's a little sign to say, okay, the animal's stressed out. Why is it stressed out? Maybe the, maybe there's too much going on. It doesn't feel good. But usually with llamas, it's heat. And, or at a petting zoo where they only feed them the people that feed them, that's the only way they eat. Then they're fighting for food. Then it turns into a proprietary, <laughs> I'm going to eat over you. Look at everything. knows what's happening. He said, what? Is it more food? <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> no. So he, he can't bite coming. you, but it's going to tickle. See, so it's going to tickle. Exactly. It's going to tickle because he uses her bottom teeth. His bottom teeth are going <laughs> to touch your skin, and he takes his lips and he pulls it in. He scoops it right in. <laughs> so we do one at a time. Oh, you heard it. There it goes. Open your hands a little more so you can see. There you go. <laughs> see? 
<laughs> yeah. There's no chemicals in this stuff. It's all. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> See now he can't. Yeah. Oh, he's like yeah, seconds. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> they all eat the same. So even if your little pinky, if your little pinky went up in there, you'd have pressure. If somehow it went up in there, it looks like how our cat eats her food. She's like, messy. These are probably like donkey. Yeah, in a way, this stuff is yeah. Basically treats for them. <laughs> but once he sees the scoop, it's over. He will not eat out of hands. <laughs> oh, it's snack time, huh? <laughs> I said I went for a big walk today. I gotta do something. <laughs> Feels so weird. Yeah. <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> they all eat the same. Some might eat a little slower, sloppier. Otherwise, it's like, oh, I get that same stuff. <laughs> so they pop their heads up, like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> You're not popping their heads. And this is just a halter and lead. I should have said that. <laughs> You're staring at me. Everybody. So these guys here. These guys like this. Llamas like to smell faces. <laughs> That's what we call a llama kiss. They don't kiss like people. Like, mm. yeah. Sniff. And see the feathers in his ear? You can touch him. Just go slow. He's going to smell the green on your hand. <laughs> yeah, more just slow. <laughs> yeah, put your hand. He won't. He just wants to smell. He smells the green. <laughs> <laughs> his nose. <laughs> They aren't gonna lick you or anything. That llama right there is two years old. He's gonna be a monster. This one? Yeah, he is gonna be he's like, big. He's like, he's like sticking out his upper lip on me. Oh yeah. He's like, mm. That's what I say. Normally we have to go out and find these guys. They're in today. So it's not really, I mean, it's not the nicest day. You'd like to have a t-shirt on, but on the other hand, they're all in. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy here, they call that mouthy. This guy here, tomorrow morning when I come in, all this is on the ground. They get bored. That horse down there, anything near his mouth, he picks up and drops. All this will be on the ground. We get every day. Say, you see him go like this? And if you had a winter hat on, he had the little pom-pom, oh, he plucks them off like this. <laughs> he doesn't rip your hat. <laughs> Look at Mike. says, what's this? He's like, what's happening? Let's see. Well, these guys are in. This is what I want to show you. How's it going? So I was telling you about their wool, about the heavy wool llamas. This is it right here. This is heavy. These are installed right on the window. Whoa, whoa! He's big! See how pretty. Why well, he's right here. See how thick that is. Whoa, nice. That's a yeah. nice blanket right there. Oh, yeah. There's 415 you can make a, you pounds of. That's a nice of, blanket out of this. Right. And they just grow right back the next, how long does it take it, to grow back their coat? Well, their neck hair takes a couple years, but okay. the barrel, I'll oh, show you what that, that is. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a feel. blanket. I oh, know. Oh, wow. So when you're out here in winter and you're cold, you find a you it's find so a long hair llama. And you you put it. your hands up in there. Shaggy blanket. Oh my! Yeah, that's it feels like a. Oh a, yeah, nice, that's thick wool. Just take a nap on them. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stay in there. Nice boy. Four twenty-five. Oh yeah, we go up twenty-seven. We got him down. I'll show you when we go out the next. We go down here. So we put these coats on. Someone young and someone old is gonna get much colder before the middle area and stuff like that and uh because of circulation and all the things that go with it so these guys have coats they'll start to be i think next this week's gonna be cool she was just looking at the weather and i saw you pull it and that's not going to be great towards the end of the week so these coats will stay up winter time everything's locked up um, we just lock them in during the snowstorms why well the two these these big guys they'll stay out in the snow and play all day but the other ones <laughs> might get cold so it's just mm. it warms the barn up so how much is a llama eat? This is a, a bale of hay, and this is what they call a flake of hay or fold, whatever term Probably you want to use. Could... And one llama will eat three to four of them a day. Wow. Uh, but I do round bales. I only do square bales for in here. And um, they want hay. And they have hay. They have hay all <laughs> around the other. There's another barn out back they eat all the time. But why? You'd have to actually walk out there and get it. You'd have, you'd have to like, apply yourself. No one wants to do that. They're just so curious. Look at them all. And this llama, we board about 20 llamas for families. The family owns this llama. They can do anything they want to that llama. They dress him up in costume that you would not believe what they do to this llama. You take large pajamas and cut them. 
put him around with Velcro, you can make anything you want. He just stands there, and he, you look at his face, it's like, just go home. Get it off and go home. He just wants to smell you. Let him smell your head. There you go. It's like he is sniffing the rail. Like, these guys here. What's going on? Just a minute. This is assisted living. This is the old folks. These guys are old. Um, oh God, here it comes. You ready? Hi. <laughs> like, Whatever. Hi. You chase around. Bar that's all day long. That's all you hear. So we make a mash in the morning. We mix that grain, some other grain with warm water. Their throat muscles are gone. So in a while, it wouldn't be very nice for these guys. But they were all born here. So we have a, you know, a special place for them. And they've done good over the years. They get their check now and they don't care. Don't touch me. Don't, you know, that's about it. We give them haircuts. This is llama shears. They make all different kinds of shears for all different kinds of animals. Have them step in there. So you're going to bring Mike in. When you bring Mike in, his chest goes here. This opens up. Okay. Okay, now his chest is here and his neck is here and you tie it. Then you push this. It doesn't hurt him. Now, you saw when we brushed Mike a few minutes ago, uh -huh. he was standing there very nice, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he wasn't hurt. Because he was eating hay. you got to buy these guys off. I don't care what the videos show you. <laughs> these guys have got a price. <laughs> so this is a shoot containment. They, they have cow shoots. They have sheep shoots. They make all different shoots. How do they shoots. shear them? To shear them. So this is what we call the barrel right here. And it takes about a half hour. Within, I bet you two to three weeks, she's got that heavy wool llama, that's got to come off first. So a heavy coat's got to come off before a light coat. These guys can't take heat. When I worked, my vacation was the third day at 90 degree. I was home with these guys, hosing them down. It's just too much for them. They're native to up where it's cool. And this, no wonder you have fans in there. We, well, you're going to see some big fans when we go to the next barn. Many shears, but they're designed, you take their toenail and you just take the edge of it and pop it off. Oh. Unless you walk them a lot. It, does, it doesn't hurt them. No, it's, it's just like us doing us. If you get too yeah, close, it can like, hurt. Yeah. But nail like, clippers. Like, nail like, clippers, that's like, right. Like yeah. clippers. Right. Like and once a year, the vet comes, and I think it's coming in April, they all get a rabies shot. These guys are all microchips, so when you take them places, they're all in state registry and stuff like that. Honey, I can't see. My glasses fog up with these. See, we got to calibrate. We'll start using it again next month. 61, you're not a bag of grain. <laughs> so waiting. Um, I will not be stepping while. on that thing. Right, this part might be, I can't do that part. Whoa. Okay. All right, here's Luke. Luke is right here. He likes to talk. Oh, he's vocal. Really? Oh, yeah. Hi, buddy. He's four months old. He's four oh, months yeah. old? Wow. Yeah, come on, lead in. We're having a little protest. Oh, here comes Electra. They're very curious. When we go into Big Barn, they're going to come all around. This is a warm up. <laughs> so a baby llama is called a cria, C-R-I-A. There's a poop right behind. There you go. No, right here. That's not wild black jelly beans. That's poop. <laughs> so when this one's eating like this, when an animal's like that, you don't want to mess with it. Just let it eat. <laughs> These guys are super. They, they like to. They, we got, they give a lot of llama kisses, but they don't. They just smell your face. <laughs> He's like, oh, I smell well, it's a baby. See, they're messing, with it. they're messing with her right now. No. She's like, pregnant, no. and they're, they're, they're messing with her. She's like, like no. you, know, they, no. you hear what they're doing right there? You hear that noise? That's not spit. What they do all day long is blow air at each other. That's a bit, we're arguing, we're bickering back and forth. If they spit, they won't eat, and it's too nasty, but they will blow air, and that's like, knock it off. No, you knock it off. You can come right up here. You can pet them. Just come up slow. Okay, this one isn't wet. He's soft too. Well, she's inside. He's been out playing. <laughs> Tiny whinies, I call him. Hi. <laughs> See, they're near her butt. Mm -hmm. She's probably, she's starting to bag up, so she's probably sensitive. Mm -hmm. and these guys don't, that's why I call them hoodlums. They don't care. All right, all right, all right. He's not doing anything to you. Go in the other room. You got all the room. You got, here, go. Go in the other room. It's like, no, I don't want to go. All right. Yeah, got a whole other room. <laughs> <laughs> no, leave her alone, will you? <laughs> so, chit chat. That's all it is. Oh, what? Yeah. What? Wow. So soft. Yeah. Now here's a. Uh, remember I was telling you about the Surrey, um, the Surrey fiber. See the the little, the little whatever you call, the my wife knows all the terms like irony hair. Mm -hmm. Everything clings mm -hmm. to it. 
There's another one there. You can spot them right away because everything clings to them. <laughs> so um, they usually only have one. They remind me of cats. Big versions of cats. They're just like cats. Exa just big clunky cats. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if it's nice out, we go out in the pen. You gotta go look for these guys. They're not in here. They're just in here because it's, it's raining. One thing to remember is when you get in front of a llama, camel, or alpaca, on this farm you're okay, but you might not be on this farm someday. You might see the other one. When you get in front, right directly in front of them, if you, you're too tall, but if you had someone little, see how they get up? Yeah. They go forward. Mm -hmm. That's not aggression. They mechanically have to go forward to get up. So if you're near a camel, don't mess with them. Yeah. They'll take you right down. I've been near them. They will take you. They'll walk right over you. And they'll watch us right on you. <laughs> and they don't them. care. <laughs> See how they, did she lunge forward? Hey, yeah. buddy. Hi. Is this guy? Oh, she goes. Oh, is this a he or a she? She. Oh, she. Oh, you really soft, soft her. Man. That's five months old. A newborn is 22 pounds. This wow. Is, this is a newborn? No. So the mom <laughs> nurses... The mom, they'll nurse for six months. Uh, we, as soon as they have the baby, we put them in this room, weigh them, and let them bond for three days, and we'll start handling them a little bit. And uh, away we go. He's got issues. <laughs> yeah. What's his name? Luke. Luke. <laughs> but he just talks all the time. That's the sound they make. <laughs> but they're being weaned from their mom about a week ago. Oh, and so you have to do that. It sounds mean, but they're pulling so much weight off the mom. That grain we gave, the pregnant moms are getting a scoop in the morning and a scoop at night. Your, your body's working, energy, you know, energizing and everything. <laughs> that one there, she's going, she's very old. She's 24. She's going blind. Mm -hmm. She loves the baby, so we keep her in here with them, so she might not be able to see it too good. And that one's pregnant over there. Don't just let her go. Now so go right up next like to that. go right up next to um oh gosh I grew up boy this one here. Harry <laughs> guy? Yeah, it's a girl. Harry oh. girl. Because the names, see the, the young ones I'm having trouble with all these young names. <laughs> okay, but they, they name them after a lot of movie stuff. As... They they cross <laughs> words over. What happened to Mary and Jane? I don't know. It's like the Minions kids. Yeah, yeah they just, I can't, you're current. I know you are. You're, you have to be on top of stuff. They think I, I my boots are grass. Yeah. They might think that. They're like staring at me. You're just the old staring. What? Who did it? Who pooped over there? Who pooped over there? Give me more grain. Who pooped over there? That's how much poop they poop. They're so soft. Dad. What? So cute. Yeah. <laughs> so soft. Yeah, we can't, I want to own him. We can't get a llama for Christmas. <laughs> oh, man. Here's, here's, a, here's the deal. You one. can't get a llama. You have to get two llamas. Oh. These guys have to, they have their herd bound. They're yeah. social animals. So they need one or two. When we got Dakota, there was no internet. We had to do everything from the yeah. library. Oh, nice. I came home from work and I was looking all over the neighborhood for him running around he was out searching for somebody. Oh. Unless they bound with sheep or goats, we didn't have any. Then we went and got a couple quick goats. Until we got one doing? Well, this one is not real friendly. She's friendliest one on the farm, but she's a mother. You see her leg? Yeah. When she was, she's 17. When she was two weeks old, she got hurt. Oh. Her mom yeah, actually rolled her. Out. Out. Oh, no. So she was 20 pounds. They lay next to the mom. And the mom rolled and crushed her shoulder. Now, let me finish. Don't get nervous. So we, we anything we do big, we have to go to Cornell. So if I had my leg, we did a little operation down there. If I had my leg shortened and twisted, I'd kind of lean like this. Yeah. And that's what she does. So she can run good. It just takes her a minute to get going. But the flight instinct, if you went up to her quick, she gets really nervous because she can't get away right away. She's not sure because she's got that Oh, injury. is that why like she's leaning? Okay. Yeah. She, well, she, she likes to lean against the wall. And, um, that's something that I like to do with on board. And it happens in cows. It, it, it's just a thing. It's nobody did anything wrong. Um, I've never seen a llama sit down, though. <laughs> <laughs> the next barn, you see a lot of things. So I love these guys. Whoa. Oh, this yep. one's so when you, their ear, no, uh, When they get older, their ears, they don't really don't like their ears touched a lot. This, this, my mom. Oh, here comes Legacy. These are real friendly llamas. This hey, one's Yeah. Look at and they're clunky guys. llamas. Now you're talking 400 pounds. And here's the mayor, Pina. It takes a minute for them to warm up. They love to be scratched here, but their ears are not real cute. Oh, she's dry. She hasn't been out in the rain. <laughs> so she was Pina. She was a 16-pound baby. Look at her. Be quick with her camera. 
So keep the secret is scratch. You're buying them off. Yep, scratch hard. Get ready. Right See what I'm doing? I'm scratching. And this one here, you can scratch. Now this, and this is this is Marilyn. She's another lovey dovey llama. She's soft. She's another 400 pound llama, just like them other ones. This is the fibers a little oh, shorter. Hello. So they're also soft. There's mm -hmm. llamas that don't like each other in here, but they don't fight. They don't like um like people kind of mean to each why do, other. Why do some llamas have snaggle teeth? Though? Just the way they are, just like just like us. Some are have you real big like underbites, and some have short teeth. Just kind of, and there's no right or wrong. <laughs> Again, pretty soon this will all be opened up. Um, oh, Ellen, feel her back. This is so soft. So if you push down hard and feel her spine, you'll feel the little bumps in it. Oh, yeah. That's her so vertebrae, and you can't. Well, the secret is great. She's. Oh, man, you gotta be. <laughs> see, they see the umbrella. Something. <laughs> you probably think it's food. I want to hello. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. Like, oh, that's that. yeah, I put a smudge on that lens. It's really nice. Yeah, my dog that slowly comes in you. The more you scratch her, she'll stop. Smell my so face. Stop. We're like best oh, buds yeah. now. <laughs> That's the thing about llamas, they come up behind you, you don't even know they're there. They're so friendly. <laughs> Hello there, bud. So if you you took this llama right here, took her off the property, I came to your house. <laughs> They're not going to do what they do because they're on. They're out of there. This is their home. You, where do you feel the most comfortable? At home. Yeah. You know, you feel safe and secure, like everybody thing? does. This is their. I'm sorry. What's this one thing? Viv Vivian, but it has something else added on it. As far as I can go. <laughs> but I'm honest Vivian with you guys. I, I don't. I can only go Vivian so far. Else? Oh God, you touch cranky player. Good for you. Look at her ears down. Look at. It. The priest knows her. He oh, comes really? up. Yeah, he comes up here. And she's the sweetest animal on earth. As soon as he leaves, she needs an exorcist. <laughs> That's my, my opinion. He says, there's nothing wrong with my llama. <laughs> staring at you, bud. We're having a staring contest. <laughs> she only been sitting there for two hours. <laughs> When'd you get to town? Oh, no. Oh, no. I think you, you want to be gentle, but you got to really push them. Because that like, way they you know can they're literally there. Just down. Yeah, and they're all, all around us. Like Flush these guys. Thing. Hello. But when they turn sideways, they don't care about their their um, their butts. Basically, oh. she's getting jealous. Oh. She's getting jealous. She wants to start, oh. start scratching. One for you, one for you. Just scratch. Oh, I'll just <laughs> take this one. I'll take this one. Okay, it doesn't matter. Just scratch. So I don't have to. <laughs> so when you do work in here, you gotta get them out of. You can't get anything done. Yes. <laughs> so big. They're so fat and big. <laughs> oh, there's 400 pounds pushing <laughs> you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you want me to pet you? <laughs> they loved it. They, you know how a dog will rub their neck on stuff? They rub their neck. It's like a big iron pipe coming out. Oh, you just gave me a kiss. Oh, yeah. You just gave me a kiss. Ellie, <laughs> hi. Now, Pina, you see what's happening? She's now here now, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Look at oh yes. Look at that. Well there's fifteen that start doing this to you and you gotta be out of here. It's not like you're I'll be out there drinking coffee. If you come in here to clean, you gotta get them all out. You can't get anything done. Oh all that. Like I wanna just say hi. These guys are super friendly. Yeah, they are. Llamas are very friendly. Not all so there's llamas in here that are not friendly. Crazy clear. She seriously is not, for, but the owner yeah. comes up, he has a bond with that animal. Yep. But there's llamas in here that are just very standoffish. Just yep. like in the, um, the different personalities. Different personality. Now, tomorrow, same family, same time. The other three might get in your face, and these two might be out front playing. You don't. <laughs> you just don't That's know. a funny thing. You don't. These guys are so stealthy. They can behind your head. ride llamas? You really can't. Even at your light weight, the direct weight over their spine, you would hurt. You can hurt a llama. There are videos, but it's. It can't turn out good for the llama. Yeah. Is that what's going on? <laughs> Most people, you know, you gotta be careful. You say, my wife gets mad. I say that. Because <laughs> they come up to you. People, you don't know like, llamas. Sick, sick them. Sick like, well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, oh, you're gonna spit at me? No. No, they yeah, yawn. Good. Oh, yawn. They yawn. Oh God. Yeah, they <laughs> they, they make that. sounds when they yawn. They go. Look at this thing. That's their poop over there.
We cleaned once a day, but they did one a lot inside because it's raining out. Oh, there's a yawn. Look, oh. see your top? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I was trying to show you there's nothing up there. Yeah, I, I saw that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, this is the best cool field trip ever. Oh, oh, this is the best We've got one field bigger, field. but she must be outside somewhere. When she comes over, she puts her head on your shoulder. Cool and she puts her eyes shut. Oh, it's time that you got a motor because she'll start leaning on you and she'll fall asleep on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would just love just hugging it forever and ever and ever. <laughs> so when you go home and your dog and cat, they're going to smell this. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, they're yeah. going to be. Oh. And you're going to wonder. Dog's going to be she's so pushing mad. me. So if you're not paying attention and there's a llama laying down, they can push you over. There's 400 pounds pushing me. This is like a linebacker coming at me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're always, you're always like watching me. It's like the speed of a bull as it falls. Like, it's all one shot there. Good deal. Hi. Did you hug one? Did you hug one? Oh, you wrap your arm around. One, one so you got to be careful. when you Later in life when you say, oh, I hugged llamas when I was little, you got to kind of watch who you tell people because <laughs> they might look at you kind of strange. Like, we got kissed by a llama. It's like, oh, okay. It's just like smell on your head. I hugged a llama. Yeah, you, I was hugging llamas. Look at a sticker saying I hugged a llama. Make a sticker that says that. I hugged a llama today. And a lot of people say, oh, they spit. Uh, well, you can see. Hi. Oh, hi. Yeah, they can <laughs> spit. I thought it was going Hi. They sneeze a lot, though, I can tell you that. Hi. They sneeze a lot. And it's because of our. They put their. When they eat hay, they put their head way into the hay bale. Hi. Oh, well, there, bud. Hi, Dad. Hmm. Hi, Dad. Around. Oh boy! But this is a difference of, of anything. The, the, the work you put in anything is on the other end, and this is it. You know, you've been working with these animals, their mothers. It's bred into their thing. They trust us. They trust the, what you're getting here. I told my wife she's wrecked the gene pool. So the halter, the big thing we do here in spring and fall, we have pikes. Dude, Kids, look behind you. Pet. There's a line. They're waiting to get pet. <laughs> No, these guys are going to be begging me to know when we can come back. <laughs> yeah. This guy just wants to. 50% that. of our traffic is people coming through. That's why I asked the area for us. I'm personal. I don't know your address. Yeah. But to see a baby and, and to come back, to, you know how you take a ride? I mean, I don't know if they do it anymore. You the, take a ride. The other ones are getting jealous. Of of that. So re, you got to really scratch hard in their skin because their skin is so tough. Kind of like if I, I'm not going to, but if I just tap you lightly on the coat, it's more of like, what is that? You know? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Now you can tap. Ellie, just, just Ellie, put your, your two arms like this, and then just lean your head on your arm. Oh, yeah, you're in that neck. Just relax. She won't do it yet. Mom, I think this feels good with her. I think she really. is 410 pounds. Right? Wow, that's a big one. So when they get up in her hind legs outside and they get playing, <laughs> you're looking at a house coming at you know. <laughs> I bet if you come in here on like a quiet day, all you'll hear is munching. Oh, that's it. That's what, and that's that back teeth sitting there grinding the hay or they're chewing your cud. <laughs> so when things get a little crazy, I just we come out here and sit, have a cup of coffee or soda or water, and you just sit here and before you know it. You know, like just that bad. big giant cats. It's like yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, they, can't, they, really don't scratch they don't scratch you though. <laughs> yeah. Our cat, our yeah. cat can turn in a well, minute. It's like, like Chucky doll or something. <laughs> you know what's coming out of that cat. <laughs> Or when it's cold out, right. you get in the house and it's all nice and warm. You got some hot cocoa. Uh, Jules is starting to come around. She's like That's where we run from. She's not going to do anything bad. She's I just big. I'm trying to fall asleep right there. Hello. <laughs> like an emotional support animal. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, something you could bring to the hospital. <laughs> it's going airplane. Something that you could. Don't tell me you came from here. Guess what? You could bring this this llama. You could oh. bring llama who's who are really soft to to a child hospital. So, well, here's the deal. We used to go to a lot of places. Mhm. Mm but you can't. You can't. They don't like animals at places like that anymore. Oh. So we bring them here. We bring I'm people from through. hospitals here. Um, a lot of children that have some problems, health problems, we bring them in here stuff like that but the thing about a llama when you take them off site you put them in a trailer and i take them to your house right away they're not as warm and fuzzy because you know you got out of your car you got to figure out hey what's going on there's llamas there's an airplane in the air what's this guy doing this place is crazy you know you're trying to figure it out and uh it's the same with them so they entrust you uh, uh, oh i want to do this again it's just yeah. again. <laughs> you're creating a monster <laughs> i'm just letting you know nothing bad's going to happen but she's 
It's a big one. That head comes down. It's like it's like a big tank in the neck. Oh, okay. Even you know, on her bigger llamas we got, she just doesn't know. She, I swear to God, she's in the house. She's sitting here laughing. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a Great Dane in a way, you know, just they don't know any better. Okay, I'll sit here. I called her mayor. She's got to. She's got to see what's going on. When she was a baby, we were really worried about her. She was only 16 pounds, and she was early. I guess she made up for that. Didn't she? <laughs> Hello. Hey guys, can you take a picture of me?